हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द इलियस थ्योरी ऑफ कॉलम बोथ एंड फिंस्ड वी आर गोइंग टू डिराइव यूलर्स लोड बेसिकली व्हाट इज द थ्योरी एंड व्हाट इज द सेफ लोड ऑफ यूलर्स बाय गिवन बाय यूलर्स थ्योरी एंड वी आर टेकिंग द केस बोथ एंड फिंस्ड राइट सो वी हैव सीन दैट इन द प्रीवियस केसेस देयर आर बेसिकली फोर केसेस both are hinged one fixed other free uh, both and fixed and uh, one fixed other hinge right so we are taking when the both ends are hinged right so uh, we can make a diagram of that also like this suppose this is the load applied and after applying the load suppose this is the deformation or bending in the beam right and this is hinged from this side and the load applied is p p load is applied and we want to find out the safe load given by euler's theory right so let us say this is our uh, reference point from here we are taking the direction upward in x direction suppose this is our x direction and the the deflection deflection at a certain point here this point this point is uh, suppose uh, c point this is a point this is b point at c point what is deflection at a distance x so this is the deflection this is a deflection so this is deflection at a distance x and deflection is given by y right and you know that this is a concave structure concave right towards the initial axis so towards the original axis the structure is concave but bending is concave towards the axis right so it is a negative bending moment right so we, check the sign convention that this is a negative bending moment right whether this or in opposite direction this will be a negative bending moment right and say it is a uh, the length of the column is capital l suppose the length is given to us that is capital l right no uh, from the deflection equation you know the deflection equation go to the deflection chapter and find out what is the deflection equation for a beam where there we have found out the deflection of a beam so from the deflection equation we know that deflection equation deflection equation you should know that that ei d2y by dx square will be equal to if it is negative you know this is negative because it is concave so minus m at a certain distance x we are talking about the distance x so this is our deflection equation deflection equation ei is the modulus of elasticity i is the moment of inertia a minimum moment of inertia we have to take the uh, minimum moment of inertia d2y by dx square equal to minus mx right so from this equation you know that the bending moment here is given by p the load multiplied by the perpendicular distance so that will be equal to that will be equal to minus p multiplied by y so this is the deflection equation ei d2y by dx square is equal to minus py so this is the deflection equation right we can arrange this equation and we can use the double differential equation like this like so d2y by dx square here d2y by dx square here will be equal to and it can be taken in this direction that p by ei p by ei multiplied by y should be equal to 0 so d2y by dx square plus p by ei into y is equal to 0 we have taken this py in this direction in left hand side and ei is divided both side by ei you will get this equation right and uh, we can further uh, simplify this equation this p by ei this p by ei let us say this p by ei ei is equal to some constant say m m square right m square so we can write from this equation d2y by dx square plus m square y equal to 0 this is the deflection equation in differential form right and it is double derivative right so what is the solution of this you must know the solution of this equation so what is the solution of this that y will be equal to y will be equal to uh, a sin mx 
a sin some constant a some constant right a sin mx plus b cos mx this is the solution solution to this so this is the solution to this solution of this differential equation that y which we have to find out is equal to some constant a sin mx plus b cos mx m is this quantity where m square is given by p by ei where a and b a and b are constants right which we have to find out a and b are unknown to us remember the boundary condition boundary condition you should remember right we have studied the boundary conditions for this case uh, what are the boundary conditions boundary conditions first boundary condition was that that x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 y will be equal to 0 and second boundary condition was x equal to l y is again 0 x equal to l y is again 0 use these boundary conditions to solve these two unknowns a and b because following the a and b we will be needing some boundary condition at x is equal to 0 there is no deflection y is equal to 0 and x equal to l there is no again no deflection so y is equal to 0 put these values and get the final result and we want to find out the safe bending load uh, same Euler's bending load using the Euler's theory of column so first boundary condition is first boundary condition is x equal to 0 y is equal to 0 x equal to 0 y equal to 0 at x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 put here and get the answer y is 0 that is equal to in this equation equation number equation number 2 this equation number 2 a sin a sin 0 plus b cos 0 a sin 0 b cos 0 put the value here uh, sin is sin 0 is 0 b cos 0 is 1 so you will get b is equal to 0 b equal to 0 so from here we have uh, now we have found out the one unknown that b is 0 right if b is 0 if b is 0 then what the equation will become right this equation will become y is equal to a sin mx only because v, b is 0 now second boundary equation second boundary equation x equal to l y is again 0 x equal to l and y is again 0 right so uh, from this equation if we write the new equation of this so equation 2 will become y will be equal to a sin mx now this equation we have to solve now this is equation number 3 right so the, here the b is 0 that's why we have arranged the new equation but he, a is again unknown a is unknown that is okay but uh, what is the value of uh, x equal to l y is equal to 0 put here so put second boundary condition boundary condition number 2 and what is that boundary condition that x equal to l y is again 0 put here x uh, uh, y 0 y equal to 0 that is equal to a sin ml sin ml because y is 0 a is and still to find out sin ml right now a cannot be equal to 0 if a is 0 then uh, y will become 0 but y is not 0 at all condition so a cannot be equal to 0 so here either a is 0 or sin ml is 0 either a is 0 or sin ml equal to 0 but a cannot be equal to 0 but but a cannot be equal to 0 it means that it means that sin ml equal to 0 at what conditions at what angles the sin ml is 0 that is 0 at sin 0 and but what is the known value known 0 value of that that is sin pi this is the minimum value sin pi sin pi right sin pi 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi but we are taking the first value first non zero value so we have taking taking first non zero value of sin right 
sin so ml will become equal to pi so ml will become equal to pi right and what is m m is p by ei or or from here you can write m square l square equal to pi square so m square l square is equal to pi square what is m square this is p square by ei square p by ei m square is p by ei not square here it is not square because it is without square m square equal to p by ei so p by ei l square pi square right so from here from here you will get you will get this p what is a safe load safe load so that will be equal to the load applied and we are saying pe pe means euler's load that will be equal to pi square ei upon l square this you have to remember so this is the euler's load using the euler's theory of coulomb that we are taking only the bending taking the bending equation only right so what we have done here what we have done here is we are taking the condition that both ends are hinged both ends are hinged length is l we are taking deflection at a certain distance x at a certain distance x the deflection is y right we know the boundary condition that x is equal to 0 a point y is 0 and at x is equal to l b point y is 0 you can take any other uh, points also because a and b we have taken a constant you can take this point d and this point e do not confuse with the points this a is different b is different and e d is different right so we know the deflection equation e i d 2 y by dx square is equal to minus mx or minus p y because the um, moment is p multiplied by y and because of concave curve uh, towards the axis this is negative minus p y according to our sign convention so d 2 y by dx square plus p by e i this we can take and take left hand side y will be equal to 0 so d 2 y by dx plus m square y this is m square equal to 0 solve this equation the solution of this equation is this that y is equal to a sin mx plus b cos mx this is the solution to this but still a and b are unknown a and b are constants so how to find out the unknowns so we can find out using the boundary conditions first boundary condition x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 put here you get b is equal to 0 again putting the b equal to 0 in this equation you will get shrinkage the solution becomes shrink that y is equal to a sin mx so y is equal to a sin mx we have put it into equation number 2 put in equation number 2 and we will get the third equation now this is the solution so x equal to l y is equal to 0 put here we have get that either a will be equal to 0 or sin ml will be equal to 0 because these are in multiplication a equal to 0 or sin ml equal to 0 a cannot be equal to 0 if a is 0 b is 0 then y, y is 0 but y has certain value so it means a cannot be equal to 0 sin ml will be equal to 0 and when sin is 0 when the angle is 0 or pi or 2 pi or the multiples of, multiples of pi so we have taken the first non zero value which is pi right uh, so we have taken sin pi so here uh, comparing these two equations you will get that ml is equal to pi m square l square is equal to pi square we have squared both sides because m square was given by p by ei m square was given by pi that's why we have squared here put the value of m square that is p by ei l square is equal to pi square from here you can get the euler's load for the uh, both hands is that pi square ei upon l square so this is how the euler's load is found out using the euler's theory of columns